Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining initial and final value, final value theorem of Z transform. And to explain that, we have signal x of n and initial initial value of it is x of zero. In Z transform, is given by x of zero is equals to limit Z tends to infinity x of Z. And final value means at infinite time, value of signal x of n will be x of infinity, and that is been given by x of infinity is equals to limit z tends to one z minus one into x of z. So basically, initial value that is been calculated by x of zero, which is limit z tends to infinity x of z, and final value is been calculated by x of infinite, where limit z tends to one z minus one x of z. So this is how we can use these formulas to have a calculation of initial value and final value using Z transform. So here X of Z is Z transform of signal X of n, and that is what we are. These formulas will be utilized for initial value and final value. So let us have one example so it will be more clear. Now see we have been given with case unit step signal for unit step signal. Calculate initial value x of zero and final value x of infinite. So see, basically, we know we have unit step signal u of n, and if you take z transform of it, that will be z divided by z minus one. So we have x of z that is. Z divided by Z minus one. Now, if we want to calculate initial value, then initial value that will be x of zero. That is limit as per this basic formula. Z tends to infinity x of Z. So, if you place x of Z, that is Z divided by Z minus one, we'll be getting this is Z tends to infinity Z divided by Z minus one. If you take z common from numerator and denominator, you will be getting limit z tends to infinity one divided by one minus one by z. And if you place infinity over here, one by z, one by infinity, that will be zero. So you can say this is one divided by one minus zero. So that is one. And as if you want to calculate final value, then final value theorem. states limit z tends to 1 you can see that i have defined over here limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 into x of z so if you play z x of z is z by z minus 1 then you will be getting z tends to 1 z minus 1 into z divided by z minus 1 this z minus 1 and z minus 1 will get cancel so you will be getting limit Z tends to one, Z, and if you place Z is equals to one in this, you will be getting it is one. So initial value and final value of unit step signal is one. You can see even with graphical understanding, so it will be more clear. Like see, if you plot U of n signal, then that U of n signal that starts from zero and it is having value one. And it goes on. So for first signals up to infinity signal, its value is one. So initial value is at n is equals to zero sample, and that is one. We have even calculated that. And final value is even at infinity, it is one. So for unit step signal, initial and final value is one. So likewise, we can solve initial value and final value by using this two formula. In any case, if Z transform of signal is been given, so this is how we can use Z transform to solve initial value and final value. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have understood this session. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely, based on it, in future I'll make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.